All right, let's look at this first problem. In the chapter three practice test. So we have a school guidance counsel counselor examines the number of extracurricular activities that students do and their grade point average. The guidance counselor says, the evidence indicates that the correlation between the number of extracurricular activities a student participates in and his or her grade point average is close to zero. A correct interpretation of this statement would be that. Okay, so um, when we are looking at the correlation or the correlation coefficient, which is usually represented by R, we're saying that R is about zero. This basically gives you a measurement of the strength of a linear relationship. So what we can say is that there's, there's basically no linear relationship between um, two variables, you know, exponentiary X and response variable Y. But there could still be, uh, you know, maybe a curve relationship, like an exponential or something. So key thing, there's no linear relationship or, you know, virtually none. So A says active students tend to be students with poor grades and vice versa. Um, no, we can't say that. Now, again, this could be possible. Like, remember, it's not asking if this is possible. It's asking what you can say from this information. If you have an R value about zero, can you say this? No, you can't, that, you can't really say that, not for sure. B, students with good grades tend to be students who are not involved in many extracurricular activities and vice versa. And again, this is, you know, it's kind of another case of a relationship. This could be true, maybe true, but we can't say that for sure from this information. C, students involved in many extracurricular activities are just as likely, likely to get good grades as bad grades. The same is true for students involved in very in few extracurricular activities. Um, now, this is basically saying that there's not even a relationship. Like, we, again, it's possible that there, there isn't a relationship. I know I'm keep on saying, I know I'm, I'm saying that like a thousand times, but that's really what they're trying to get at. So trying to see if you really understand that correlation refers to the strength of a linear relationship. And we can't say any of these from this, just from this information. Um, D, there is no linear relationship between the number of activities and grade point average for students at the school. So that, see how it specifies no linear relationship? This would be what we can say. So our answer would be D. E, again, let's see, is his involvement in the extracurricular activities and again, we can't say this either. Now again, not to you know, not to annoy you, but these could all be possible. These A, B, C, E, it may, they may be true, but we can't, we don't, we can't say that from the information we're given. What we can only say is that D is true. All right, two. So here we got the British government conducts regular surveys of household spending, the average weekly household. Spending in pounds on tobacco products and alcoholic beverages for each of 11 regions in Great Britain was recorded. The scatter plot of spending on alcohol versus spending on tobacco is shown below. Which of the following statements is true? Okay, here we have tobacco. Let me try to zoom in. Tobacco on the x axis and alcohol on the y. So. If we were to draw um, a, an approximate uh, least squares regression line, see how we have a point over here? If that wasn't here, maybe our line would be more steep up, but I would, I, I'm just gonna guess it's something like this. I don't know, but that's just kind of my guess. Now, let's see, the observation 4.56 is an outlier. So it looks like we're talking about this. This would not be an outlier because it, it basically follows the general trend. An outlier can't follow the pattern. So it's not A. There's clear evidence of a negative association between spending alcohol and tobacco. No, this is definitely not true because it would mean that it's going downward. It means it doing this. The equation of the least squares regression line for this plot would be approximately y hat equals 10 minus 2x. We don't know. Um, 10 would be up here. And actually, no, we do know. It wouldn't be downward. That means our line would be like over here at like 10, and it would steep down to 
and 10 would actually be over here because what is it y equals zero it would be like yeah maybe over here it would be it would still be negative so it doesn't matter maybe have a negative slope the correlation for these data is r equals 0.99 no, no. I mean, that's that's like a that's a very strong relationship. Um, I can't you know say that's true? So it looks like E is going to be your answer. The observation in the lower right hand corner of the plot is influential. So let's remember what influential means. So this point right here is our influential point. That means that this has a basically a strong effect on the least squares regression line. So it basically pulls it down in a way. So if this thing wasn't here, our line would probably be more like this. The y-intercept would get lower and the slope would be higher. But this is, you know, influencing the point, it's pulling the line like downwards towards it. It's, on, it's like a weight. We call that influential. Now an influential could also be an outlier. Um, so don't confuse that. Um, but that would be our best answer. All right, three, fraction of the, of the variation in the values of y that is explained by the least squares regression line of y on x is the correlation, nope. The slope of the least squares regression line, nope. Slope, remember, we have our general equations, y hat equals a plus b x. Um, the square of the correlation coefficient. This is what that is. The square of the, it's C. That's what R squared is. R squared is the square of the correlation coefficient. By definition, that's just what this is. The formula would be, you know, one minus the sum of um, the residual squared divided by the sum of each of the Y values from their x from the from the from the mean all squared. Now you don't have to memorize this. I mean if you are really looking at the mathematics um I'll go into this in um, my lesson video. But this is not really what you have to worry about. This is really just something you want to um, make sure you don't confuse with with correlation coefficient. Correlation coefficient is the R square of the correlation coefficient is the um another way to write it is the coefficient of determination Co of, no i'm not the coefficient of determination that's another way that's another title probably in the textbook has that coefficient of determination and so our answer is c 